okay, so you saw the title of this video and you saw the massive incentives that they're offering here in Crystal Bay. Now, this is a DR Horton community. As you could tell, we're going to go inside the Cali floor plan, which is a four bedroom, two bath, um, two car garage, and it's around 1,800 square feet. In this video, we're going to go over the good, the bad, the ugly. And I had everything on videotape, good, bad, and ugly. And I'm going to be completely honest now, while they are offering massive incentives, there are some things you might not like about the community. So stick around to the end, but I will give you everything so you could make an informed decision. Now, as you can see, they have one model home, but there's different styles, of course, that you could choose from. They have one, two story homes. They have every amenity you could think of, as you could tell from back there. That's the clubhouse. They'll have the pool, which we'll look into a little bit later. And they also have pickleball and volleyball court. So they there is an HOA fee that's going to be associated with living in this community, but with the incentives that might just weigh everything and make it a better option. Now, this community is very family friendly. I've seen tons of people walking, as you could tell from the background, there's another family coming. So it's, um, you know, the best mix. Okay, so jumping back inside, we're gonna go over the model home. So you kind of have a good idea of the build quality that you're getting with DR Horton. And we're gonna go over some pros and cons. You'll definitely won't wanna miss that just because there are some negatives that might deter you from this community altogether. But just real quick, we're gonna go inside the model home. And as you can see, we're doing the outside portion and this is the Cali model. So as soon as you walk in, you're gonna have your bedrooms to the left and then you're gonna have your bath right there. So it's kind of like that split floor plan. Uh, you see, this is the shot of the first bedroom. Then you have your bath and your other bedroom and when you walk into your right that sales office is the garage as usual so that whole portion won't be there off of the garage portion you'll have another bedroom which someone was working so i didn't want to get shots but it's kind of staged as like an office and this will be your laundry room so again this is the model home so they have their water set up there but just know that'll be your laundry room area and then moving on you get a shot of your kitchen and your living space so again this is around 1800 square feet as you can see so it still feels pretty open from the kitchen to the living room and then you'll have your master or your primary suite all the way in the back portion of the house now this home is going to run you around 341,000 and that's just the base standard price of course as soon as you start getting those upgrades the price is going to jump so just to run some rough ballpark numbers on a home like this let's say for example you take advantage of their 4.99 percent interest rate and that's if you go va or fha with 3.5 percent down you'll get that 4.9 percent interest rate so just to use round numbers i have the calculator in front of me i'm not going off the top of my head if you do a principal of 350 with a 7.5% interest rate for 30 years, your monthly payment is around $2,400. Now taking advantage of their 4.99 at 350, 4.99 for 30 years, you're looking at around $1,800. So when you're looking at purchasing resale or new construction and you're going this route, I definitely see why it's a little bit more advantageous for you to go for that 4.99% interest rate. And they also give you that $18,000. And I will tell you exactly what to expect in the area of Grant Valcaria because it is unlike Sebastian, Vero, Melbourne. It's kind of in its own league and it's definitely getting developed. You can also get an acre out there for a phenomenal price and build your own home if you don't want to live in an HOA. So these are all just things to kind of know and keep in the back of your head. All right, I am going to jump out of the car and get rained on. So all I'm asking is you leave a like and comment if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help you. Now, before I jump out and show you the whole amenity center, I do want to talk about the negatives, which again, all up for your interpretation as what you view as a negative. Now, there is the train track that goes across the front of the community, uh, you know, before you get to the model home and all that stuff, I'll throw up shots. <laughs> which in the span of probably 10 to 15 minutes, there was around three trains that went by. There haven't been any since then. But that could be a negative if you don't want to deal with the noise of the train. Some people, that doesn't affect them at all, and they can actually kind of drown that noise out. I know some of the best sleep I've gotten was when I was in the Navy on the ship next to the engines and 
you know, maybe I was just sleep deprived, but that, that kind of droning and humming when they, uh, when it was going, put me right to sleep. So, um, if that's something that, you know, is up your alley, then that's definitely uh, a plus for you. But that's something to know. They do have all the safety precautions that come with living, uh, around the train track. So nothing outrageous in, in that aspect, but it is close to Sebastian. So while Grant Valkaria, you can still purchase some acreage if you don't want to live in this community. It is kind of uh, not further away from shopping, but if you want to go to the river or um, go to the beach, you're going to have to pass Sebastian or go up towards Melbourne and cross one of the bridges there. There's no direct bridge that goes across the Grant Valkaria area. So um, that could be another negative if you want to be super close to shopping and like a downtown area. Now you can drive up to Melbourne. You're closer to Melbourne than you would be in Sebastian. So that's a plus. There's better shopping out there. If you want to go to the river, you have Sebastian. That's 10, 15 minutes away. So really it's it's not in the whole outskirts of Grant Valkyria. You're still right across the street from US1, which makes it convenient to travel up and down, whether you're working in Melbourne, Palm Bay, or Sebastian Bureau, just depends. Now, there is a dog park that I forgot to mention too, so you know that pups are allowed, which is always a plus, but let's jump out and I'll show you a little bit about the community center. Okay, so we caught a break with the rain, but I wanted to show you a little bit about the community. So as you can see, you have the pool right here, and then this is going to be your pickleball court, and then you have the bocce ball court right there in the back of the pickleball court, and this is all as soon as you walk in or drive into Crystal Bay. They also have a sand volleyball court over there, and there is like a gated kind of uh, play area for pups. Now, it's not the biggest, but it's, uh, you know, a, a plus to living in the community. And this is the dog area. I just wanted to show you um, kind of up close and personal so you can get a feel. Some of the yard space and some of the lots are bigger than others, so just depending if you need a little bit of extra space for your, uh, your dog to kind of roam, then you have that as well. I'm just walking over here to show you the bocce ball courts or court. I don't know. I've never really played bocce ball, but this is it right here. And they're still doing work. As you can tell, this is a new construction community. So um, that's going to be a thing when you're living in new construction. Now, the property taxes on something like this is going to run you around $3,200 if your property is homesteaded. Not to mention it is going to be energy efficient and you're going to get a better break with your insurance just because it is a brand new build concrete block home and everything's kind of built to that uh, that standard that insurance companies want to see. Unlike purchasing a resale home and it may need a new roof, window, your energy efficiency might not be there, but this is definitely a good option for someone who doesn't mind being outside of Sebastian or maybe you're looking to live in the Grant Valkaria area. Now this is in a completely different county, so the school district is going to be Brevard, and if you want to do your research or you want to reach out to me, just send me a message and I'll send you all the information you need as far as the Brevard County School District goes. But let's jump onto the map so you could kind of have a good idea of what you're getting in Grant Valkaria. Now we're on the map and you can see right off of US1, you have Crystal Bay. So it's going to be this whole undeveloped area. This section in white, the Barefoot Bay area is going to be a modular home community and you're kind of paying for that lifestyle when you're living there. But just know, this is not uh, part of the Crystal Bay area. The exit and entrance of Crystal Bay is actually quite nice. You get a shot of the Indian River, and even though it was raining today, it was still nice. You have a beautiful um, kind of, you have the beautiful Florida scenery when you're leaving your community, and you definitely don't miss that. So you could jump off of US 1, and to get to the beach, you are going to have to drive either up here north towards Melbourne, which you'll have more shopping i would say than you would in sebastian and bureau beach so it's convenient if you do want to go to the mall go shopping do all that stuff up north in melbourne you jump across here and you could get to the um, you could get to the beach that way if you wanted to take advantage of the bureau beach beaches then you would have to go all the way down here to wabasso and then take the wabasso causeway 510 bridge jump over and then that's the whole area where you'll have the disney resort if you've subscribed to the channel for a while, you definitely know about that area. I talk about it uh, pretty frequently. And as far as shopping goes, uh, like your grocery stores, the closest shopping is going to be your Winn-Dixie. And you can see you have Dunkin' Donuts right here. So that's going to be your grocery center. Now, if you want to go to Walmart, you're going to go 
either up north to Melbourne or down here to Sebastian, which this will be your right here. Oh, where am I going? Right here, you'll see you'll have your Home Depot, Walmart, and that's probably 10, 15 minutes and you'll enter Indian River County. The, the cutoff starts right here. So uh, like I mentioned in my last video, if you haven't seen that about Sebastian, feel free to click right here and you could kind of get a good idea. But this whole section, as soon as you cross this bridge, is Brevard County. Now you are going to find a better deal, I would say, in this area as well as the closer you get to Palm Bay. More new constructions, more communities are coming up and being developed at a more affordable price point, I think, especially with these incentives, they are amazing. Now jumping back into the website, you could see that it's all starting in the mid 300s and going up. I think the biggest home that's 2,600 square feet from right here is going to start off at 429. So for under half a million dollars, you're getting a brand new home with a phenomenal rate. And you're probably not gonna find that if you head into the Sebastian and Vero area. I do ask for different incentives that other builders are offering. And this is probably one of the more competitive ones that I've seen so far. Of course, everything does tend to change over time. So depending on when you're watching this video, please feel free to reach out and I will get you the most up-to-date and accurate information um, because this does end, as you can see from what I'm throwing on the screen, Jan 6 to 21, but doesn't mean that they won't have another incentive coming out and maybe they're trying to get rid of some other homes that are already pre-built or in a certain stage of the building process where you can't make as many adjustments, there might be a better deal for you there as well. So if you like this video, please consider leaving a like. If you want to know more information about Sebastian, then click on this video, but I will see you guys in the next video.